Hi, second graders. Welcome back to Book A Day. Our book today is called Maybe Tomorrow. Do you notice how I pronounce that title? Listen again. Maybe Tomorrow. Do you notice that? Remember, when we have a question mark, you can see a question mark at the end of our title. When we have a question mark, when we say what's in a story, it's going to sound a little bit different. My, vo or my voice goes a little bit higher. Let's look at our vocabulary word. Hesitant. Repeat, hesitant. Second graders, chunk that word. How many syllables does hesitant have? Clap it out. Hesitant. Yeah, three syllables. Hesitant is an adjective, a describing word. That means nervous or uncertain, like someone afraid to jump off a diving board. Name a time or a place that you have felt hesitant. What was going on? Who were you with? Oh, look at how hesitant our little guy looks. I don't blame him. That looks like a really tiny swimming pool. He looks nervous. He looks hesitant or uncertain. This illustration, it reminds me of another book that I, Jabari jumps when he was at the top of the diving board, kind of similar to that cover. In our story today, there is going to be some symbolism, meaning something in our story today is going to represent a thought or a feeling in the real world. An example of symbolism is that the color red, it often represents the feeling of anger. Let's read to see how hesitant connects to our book today. Maybe tomorrow. Alba had a big block. She'd been dragging it around for a long time. It made her walk slowly. It made her think darkly. It was heavy. Norris danced everywhere he went, even uphill. One day, Alba was sitting on her block in the park, like she usually did. Along came Norris in a cloud of butterflies. At first, Elba couldn't see him in all that shininess. Second graders, what type of animal is Elba? Is Elba a dog or a hippo? Hello, I'm Norris, he said. Do you want to go on a picnic? I'm Elba, said Elba. I do not go on picnics. Well, what do you want to do? asked Norris. Sit here with my block. But you're already doing that. Second graders, how would you describe Norris's energy? Does Norris have positive or negative energy? I know. Is it fun? Not really. No. What's in it? Norris wanted to know. In it, said Elba, what do you mean? Well, it's a box, isn't it? Something must be inside it. It's not a box, it's a block, said Elba. Are you sure, asked Norris. Yes, said Elba, prodding it with her umbrella. Prodding is a synonym, same, same synonym for poking. So she was poking it with her umbrella. She always carried one in case it rained. Nora sat down next to Elba. I feel something in there, he said. What? asked Elba, who didn't feel a thing. Something sad, said Norris. I think it wants to come out. How? whispered Elba. The next day it was raining. The butterflies looked a little damp. The weather didn't slow down Norris, though. You're making me dizzy, said Elba. It's time for tea, said Norris. They had good, quiet tea with rain in it. Maybe tomorrow, said Norris. Maybe, said Elba, if tomorrow ever comes. Second grader is, what did Elba and Norris drink? Do they drink hot chocolate, coffee, or tea? 
Yeah, they drank tea. Now, I have another question. How would you describe Alba's energy right now? Do you think Alba is sad or happy? And what feeling do you think that this block that Alba has symbolizes or represents? Tomorrow didn't come, but another today did. It's really time, said Norris, because I want you to come to the ocean with me. Okay, I'll just take my block, said Elba, surprising herself. But it's too heavy, right? she added. Right? My butterflies and I will help you, said Norris. Now, second grade, if this block represents sadness or like a really big and difficult feeling, what do you think the butterflies represent to Norris? What do the butterflies represent? Yeah, maybe positivity? They did help. It was a very, very long journey. Elba and Norris talked and didn't talk. I miss little bird, said Elba, as they crested the last hill. She is gone. I miss her too, said Norris. Elba paused. But you didn't know her. No, but you are my friend, so I can help you miss her. By the time they got to the shore, Norris knew many things about little bird. We watched the moon together, Elba said. She taught me to sing. We were hardly ever apart. She loved you so much, Nora said. Yes, said Elba, as the waves crashed. Some of the butterflies started to fly out toward the horizon. Come back, shouted Elba. It's okay, said Nora. Sometimes we have to let things go. They both sat down to rest on Elba's block, but... There wasn't enough room. I think it's smaller, said Elba, in amazement, and lighter. Definitely, agreed Norris. Together they stood and faced the roaring sea. I'll always have this block, you know, said Elba. Yes, maybe you will, said Norris, but I will help you carry it sometimes. The two friends stayed by the ocean until the sun set until the sun set and the view was calm. Some of the butterflies came back. Some flew off forever. The next day was sunny. Do you want to go on a picnic? Norris asked. Yes, said Elba. Second graders, what do you notice? What do you notice about Elba's block? Did it get bigger or did it get smaller? Yeah, and what does that symbolize? What does that represent about how Elba is feeling, do you think? Oh, V and applause. Oh, I love that one. Now, second graders, characters can change throughout a story. In this story, Elba's block got smaller. What do you think? What does this represent? Yeah. Now that story had a lot of meaning. That story taught us something about things that happen to people in real life. What do you think the author's message in the story was? Let's go back to our vocabulary word. Hesitant, an adjective that means nervous or uncertain, like someone afraid to jump off a diving board. Now, how, how does hesitant connect to our book today? What character was feeling nervous or uncertain in her story? Was it Norris or Alba? Yeah, it was Alba. Now, I want you to use the word hesitant to write a sentence to describe something that happened in our book. Let me give you a sentence starter. I would say, at the beginning of our story, Alba was quite hesitant to... At the beginning of our story, Elba was quite hesitant to leave her sadness behind and move forward. Thanks for joining me for Book A Day, second grade. Tune in next time. Bye.